a very good morning to one and all today we are going to learn something which is very very important and that is related to developing a strong vocabulary we are going to talk about some important techniques that you can use to develop your vocabulary the first thing is listening before i start with vocabulary i would like you to tell compare developing vocabulary with the process of a computer which comprises of input and output so let us try to understand this with this small uh, comparison so whenever you have got a computer there with you you always try to first give an input to it so let's say this is a computer uh, that you have you first give an input to it right let's say you put a program here and then you also give some data to this and what you get is an output so it is always input first and then there is an output same thing happens in our life also if you want to develop vocabulary if you want to use very good words while speaking if you want to pronounce your words properly you will have to first focus on listening and reading now listening and reading are like the inputs so when you give lot of inputs to your system which is so if you consider yourself as a computer first you have to have a lot of inputs so you have to first focus on listening and reading and then you can focus on using those words and phrases in your day to day life so basically if you want to have a strong vocabulary start with listening and then reading the third thing i would like to talk about the mobile apps these days with the advent of mobile a lots of wonderful apps are available today morning i was doing some research on vocabulary for people who are doing ielts oet toefl and pte and various other tests and i saw that there are separate applications or mobile apps available for all the tests now this is wonderful so i went to one of the apps which is for oet and i started doing some tests i spent almost 1 hour doing the listening tests from oet it was so engage engaging that i could not leave it so you can use your mobile phone as your tutor you can do lots of tests from the apps available there i will give you a list of apps which you can use and your mobile phone can actually become your tutor the next thing i would like to talk about is the vocabulary diary so you should maintain a vocabulary diary and you should start with revision and then look for new words we'll talk about it in detail in a while <clears throat> now we talk about the purpose what kind of word should you do choose when you are developing vocabulary you should focus on no, uh, uh, easy words contextual words not difficult words it is not necessary to use very heavy words in some tests like for example in oet they say that you don't have to use very difficult words they should be easy words and they should be uh, easily understandable by patient but then in tests such as ielts you need to showcase your vocabulary again that does not mean that you should use difficult words but you should use the words which are in the right context so please don't have this focus please don't think that you are supposed to use difficult words and you have to remember all the difficult words not difficult words you are supposed to use the contextual words the words which fit in that situation very well then the next thing is do not learn individual words learn phrases we'll talk about this in detail the words do not have an existence of their own they uh, are a part of a sentence or a phrase so we'll see how we can use this and the last point is related to repetition so this was just a cut and razor in next 10 minutes i'll talk about all these points in detail let's start with listening now how listening can help you to develop vocabulary and confidence when you listen to native speakers you not just learn new words 
you also learn the pronunciation and enunciation of those words and phrases. You get to see how the natives speak and present their ideas. So listening to natives, listening to the audio scripts can be a great way to develop your own vocabulary. Now what to listen to is an important question. So let's first deal with that. What should you listen to? What should you, which material should you use? What content should you use for your studies? Well, as far as content is concerned, it would be good if you use something which you are going to encounter in your test. It will not just help you to prepare for your test, but also develop your vocabulary. So you can use the same transcripts and the audio scripts given to you for in the IELTS books of Cambridge or you can use the listening material of OET. I was talking about the app available. There are so many apps and there are so many tests. Today we are fortunately living in a world where content is not an issue. You can get content related to anything uh, in abundance and at a very economical price. You don't have to spend a lot to get good content and it's so easily available. In the form of PDF files, in the form of audio tutorials, the content is very easily available. So yeah, there are lots of apps and I can suggest you a few. But yes, you should use the material which is most relevant to you rather than going for something which is very exclusive or not related. You can also use other listening tests such as TOEFL or PTE to develop your uh, uh, listening skills. and. Uh, Give me one second. Yeah, so you can use um, content from various sources, not just from your own test. You can use other tests also to develop your speech. But yes, you should start with listening. Listen a lot, and I have given you a list here. Make a note of it and start using them. The second thing you should focus on is reading. Now, again, what should you read? I would suggest read content related to your test itself if you want to develop your reading skills. Of course, reading anything and everything would help. You can use read, read newspapers and other stuff. But then why not read the content related to your test itself? For example, if you are preparing for OET, why not read the OET letters and OET passages? Why not read the letters of re referral letters and other letters which you are going to write? If you read the same thing to develop your vocabulary, Will it not be great? If you, for example, if you are talking about IELTS, if you talk about IELTS, then why not read the reading comprehension tests and take out new words from that itself? Or you can use, read the essays which you are eventually going to write. You can read the graphs which, which you are eventually going to write in the test. So it will not just prepare for your writing, but will also prepare for your vocabulary. So, you know, in order to develop vocabulary and in case you are working for some test, it makes sense to uh, use the same content. If you are not preparing for some test and you generally want to develop your vocabulary, then any source is good. You should try to use authentic material. That's what I would say. Like for example, there is 6 minutes English. The audio is given by 6 minutes English, which is a great source to develop your uh, 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 vocabulary. There are. It's just for six minutes, and there is a note on vocabulary as well as grammar. So I would like to put it here in the listening part itself, uh, which is related to six minutes English. So let me just write it here. It is six minutes English by BBC. This is again an app. You can download this. And this can work wonders. You don't. It's very engaging. It's just for six minutes, and uh, it 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 finishes very quickly. Plus, it talks about a certain situation. There's a small discussion about it. There is a note about vocabulary. There's a note about grammar. So you get to listen, learn a lot of things within a, within a short span of time. So I'll put it at the top. You can listen to the six minutes English every day. And you get to understand idiomatic usages, vocabulary, grammar, pronunciation, and different nuances of usage by this. And the second thing I talked about reading, 
we were about this mobile apps so yeah this is one of the mobile apps the third thing which i would like to fourth point i would like to talk about is your vocabulary diary i would like you to maintain a separate short notebook a small diary of a uh, vocabulary or maybe you can devote some pages from your current notebook for just writing new words and phrases now whenever you note them make a also also make two to three sentences on each of these words and phrases so that you can use them later because words do not have an individual existence they always exist in a sentence so whenever you want to learn a new word or phrase try to learn the whole sentence do not use individual words this brings me to the last point let me just give you an example for example you want to learn this word thanks to now thanks to the meaning of the word is because of let us make two sentences on this thanks to unprecedented rains the whole city got flooded everywhere now see we are with the help of this word we are learning some new words also like unprecedented rains unprecedented rains matlab jo abhi tak kabhi bhi nahi hua hai so thanks to unprecedented rains the whole city got flooded everywhere so when you want to learn the phrase thanks to you should actually learn with this sentence thanks to unprecedented rains the whole city got flooded everywhere so this is the content of your uh, what you call diary that you should maintain where you are just not writing the words you are not just writing the words but also yeah you are you are writing a sentence on it so you know it becomes contextual and there is a there is a stronger retention longer retention of those phrases so yes the, the whole i would strongly recommend remembering sentences rather than individual words thanks to my headache i could not sleep so because of my headache i could not sleep i can say thanks to my headache i could not sleep or you can say thanks to corona work from home is a new normal so everybody is working from home so we can call it as a new normal similarly if there is a phrase given that given that means as we know given that today is off they would dance and play so aaj chutti hai to masti karenge given that a mixed school provides it should be provides because a mixed school is there so i'll say given that a mixed school provides just let me make this correction here given that a mixed school provides a better education a better education you cannot count it so you can say better education given that mixed schools provides a mixed school provides better education i think it is a better choice than a single gender school so mixed school is a better choice so with given that you have made two sentences so given that means as we know so when you talk about some cause and effect we can make you, you can make use of given that so this was the point related to vocabulary so whenever you want to learn new words learn the phrases not the individual words and uh, yeah the last point is repetition we all learn through repetition it's always the case that you would learn new words and phrases only by repetition as we grow old the only way to retain new information is by repeating it again and again as a child whatever we see the, uh, that becomes a part of our memory and we try to remember naturally because we, we are we are not very uh, in, in our childhood we are not very selective but as we grow old we become very very selective about what we want to see and what we want to interpret so basically the only way to develop some new skill is through repetition your brain starts remembering it and it becomes easier for you to retain it so just to recap recap in another 2 to 3 minutes i would like to tell you that vocabulary is an important aspect of all your tests whether you go for ielts or TOEFL or OET or SAT or GRE or GMAT, whatever test you want to take, vocabulary is an important part of that test. So focusing on developing good vocabulary is very important. Now, if you are a beginner, 
what you should do is start with listening and what you should listen to is something which is related to your own test so you should very smartly choose the content that you hear you can of course use some uh, other audio tapes and podcasts which I would suggest you TED is a great source similarly there are many others but the best is to listen to something which you are going to be tested on so that was, would be a good thing second thing is read now in the same way when, we, when I ask you to read there, is so, there are so many things that you can read you can read story books you can read novels you can read online blogs and so on and so forth the best would be to read your own content like for example if you are looking for some reading comprehension test why not re take reading as a way to develop your vocabulary there are so many beautiful usages idiomatic expressions in reading passages itself so you can use them the third thing is mobile apps these days wonderful mobile apps are available the content is available very easily so you can use your mobile apps to develop your vocabulary the fourth thing is about maintaining a diary it is very very important that you write it is only when you write that you retain stuff so maintaining a diary can be a great idea your focus should be to remember contextual words not difficult words now contextual words means words which best fit best in that context not difficult words for example if you are talking about a school the word academic the word curriculum are very much related to school so you can use these kind of words when we are talking about something related to education so you should use contextual words the focus should be to develop words which fit in the given situation not very difficult words the next point is do not remember try to learn individual words try to remember the phrases so when you when you learn vocabulary you should actually learn phrases write the whole phrase a phrase means a word without a subject or a verb so not necessarily i mean just this a collection of words which are which you want to use for example cumbersome cumbersome now this is a new word let's say cumbersome cumbersome means difficult to do a task which is very tiresome or cumbersome so if you want to remember this word you should remember the sentence it is a cumbersome it was a cumbersome c-u-m cumbersome matlab heavy difficult so it was a cumbersome exercise or it was a cumbersome activity or it was a cumbersome task all right for example preparing for IAS is quite a cumbersome task it requires a lot of uh, hard work so cumbersome is something which is very which requires dedication so you know if th this way you can remember the words and these words I mean these this contextual vocabulary is a part of listening reading uh, uh, all the tests that you uh, encounter so all the sections of the test uh, a strong vocabulary can be a great asset to clear listening reading and even writing test of IELTS of LPT SAT or GRE or GMAT so uh, yeah vocabulary is for sure very important there's no doubt about it but then how to prepare how to build your vocabulary is also equally important instead of remembering lots and lots of words it makes sense to use what you read to develop your vocabulary and of course word lists can also help that's the last point if you are into the tests like GRE there's no way but to develop okay I mean focus on words separately but yes whether you focus on words separately or you use the words learn the words from the context vocabulary is definitely one of the most important aspects thank you so much